Hey, what's up, guys? This is Chung here. So uh, today I want to talk about this, like this called medium problem, which is number one thousand two hundred and seventy-seven. Uh, count square sub matrices with all ones. Okay. I think this is like kind of like a very classic problem, especially for the counting problems, you know, and I think this one is like a, a easier version of this problem because there is like a, a hard, a more difficult versions, which is a number 1504, I think. That one uh, is removing this square like constraints here. Basically, we're, it, that problem asks you to count any sub matrices with all ones. Okay. And with this, with this square like constraint, this one is easier than the other one. But anyway, let's take a look at this one first. Okay, so you're given like uh, a square, uh, like 2D matrices, and it asks you to return all the uh, the square matrices with, with all ones. For example, uh, the first one here, right? Uh, at the beginning, right, each each one itself it can be counted as as one, as one square because there's the size of one. Okay, and then. I mean the the size of one. So and then there's a, like a two. There are like a four squares which which has the side equals to two. Okay, which is like this uh, this one, two, three, and four. Okay, that's four uh, two side two squares. And there's also like one big one here, the three the three one. That's the one square of side size of three. In total, we have a uh, 15 here. Okay. So this problem, I mean, it's a it's a DP. It's a fairly easy DP problem. I mean, uh, so the way we're doing it, it's like uh, the, the way to think about it is like if we have like a let's say it's like I'm going to give you like a more a e a easier version of of that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's say uh, we want to count like how many, how many ones, right? How many like, how many may uh, sub may, uh, sub uh, sub array who's like the uh, the con has the like consecutive ones? So in this case, I mean, so at this position we we have one here, okay? And here what what what's here? So we have like uh, we have inherit whatever from the beginning here. So so here we have one. But right here we have we have two here, which means that ending with this two here, ending with like at ending with this one here, how many uh, how many uh, consecutive consecutive or or you can say how many uh, uh, sub sub uh, matrices we we have ending with, with this one here. So at this one we have like one and two here because we have to get the the, the previous one right from here and here same thing here. One, two. How about here? We have three here, because by adding, by adding this this one here, we will basically adding three new, like uh, three new uh, sub sub ma uh, matrices, right? So the first one is this one, second one is this one, and the third one is the this one. That's why we can uh, utilize the previously calculated results, right? The biggest one, the basically the, the value from the the previous one, and then we plus one. That's when, then we can get uh, the current one. What's the uh, the new mat sub matrices we can get from the from the current uh, one here? But here, in, when when it comes to this problem here, since we we need to know the the square, right? So this is one more constraint here. Now this is like one one D here. Now we we have a two D here. So how can we get the uh, uh, use this square to uh, to help us, right? Basically, let's say for example we have a we have a uh, one 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 one. Okay. So let's say we are at this position here. I mean, if everything is one, okay, how many more? Basically, how many more square ma sub matrices we get by adding this one here, three, right? 
first one is the one itself second one is is this one okay and the third one is this one okay that's uh similar like this one right you you guys can this is like but uh the only difference here is we we have a 2d like uh a, a square here but here it's uh, it's just just 1d right okay but to be able to do that right i mean we have to be sure that uh we we i mean we can form we, we can form like a square but how can we do that basically we just need to get the values So all we need to know is that what's the maximum square on this position? And what's the max square on this position? And what's the max square on this position? And we just need to get the minimum value from those those three values. So why is that? Let, let's say uh, because at this moment, right, at, at this moment, everything here is, is two, right? Because at this at, at this uh, ending with this position, there are like two squares. Here's two and two. That's why here, among all those two here, the, we uh, we have two plus one, which is three. But let's say if this this one, instead of zero, let's say this one becomes two zero. Now, okay, so those those tools are still the same, right? But now for for this one, right? Now instead of two here, we have one, because ending ending with this like uh, position here there's only one square which is the one itself because here it's zero that's why we can we don't have two here so if that's the case right let's say one two two okay so by adding one here how many more square sub matrices we have now on, only two which is the one itself plus this two this, plus this one here because this one is zero Cool. So same thing, right? Same thing for 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 the, for the other two here. Let's say now we have two here. Now let's say the, if this one is zero, okay. So now this one becomes one, okay. Same thing here, right? So we, we instead of three here, we also have two here. And uh, okay, so this is like two. And same thing for for the other for this one here let's say if this is zero okay now this one becomes to uh to one here still right and even more like right let's say if this one is uh, is, is one but let, let's say if this thing is, is zero so zero means like by adding one here right i mean basically if this one is, is zero right so here we'll have like one here right one and then this is also one so and among all those zero ones here i mean we only have one more like new uh, sub square matrices right basically that's how we utilize the uh, the minimum value between those things between those three values because and it's pretty straightforward because the i mean since we're trying to uh, like form a, a square so for the square right we have to make sure all the directions they are all satisfying the they're all satisfying the the conditions, which means the uh, there has to be on three di three directions. Okay, on three directions they have to be. Uh, we just need to get the minimum value among all those three directions. I think this is kind of like a rules when you when it comes down to the uh, the problem uh, to count like squares or sub squares problem. Uh, the a square like sub matrices like we have to consider basically uh left uh above and the diagonal here among all those threes here just remember that this rule is rare just remember this rule okay and then get the, the maximum the maximum value uh from uh, sorry it gets the minimum value among all those threes here and then you just add one more on top of that and then also you accumulate this value to the final answer okay cool so enough talk okay let let me quickly implement these things here uh okay m and n okay uh 
And I'm going to create a DP here, right? I mean, plus, okay, n plus 1 for uh, range n plus 1. Okay, I do a m and n plus 1 because I will be doing like n minus 1, I'm, I'm minus 1, and I don't want to my uh, my index to be out of the, the boundaries. So I in range uh, 1 plus m plus 1 for j in range 1 to the n plus 1, okay? And, okay, I need an answer here. Okay. So... I mean the DP, right? So the DP I I J. Okay, so DP I J in this case, like like I said, stand, uh, means that ending with the I and, and J. How many? How many? Basically, how many uh square sub matrices like uh with all ones like ending with with the current I and J? Okay, like I said, we need to get the minimum DP I minus one. Okay, so that's the Uh, that's the the above one, okay? J, and then the DP uh, I J minus one. That's the the one on the left, okay? And then the uh, the ones on the diagonal side. J minus one, okay? Among all those of threes, we we just plus one. The one means it's soft, okay? So now we have the the new like the the sub the square sub matrices ending with this i and j, okay? Now, since we are counting for everything, right? And we just need to accumulate these things to, to this, to the answer here. And then in the end, we simply return the answer. Yeah. Cool. What? Hmm. DPI minus one. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, we only need to do this when there when the current one is, is current current element is one. Otherwise, I mean, if it's zero, we know it's zero. There's nothing to to be add for this like uh, matrix for this like position, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's it's a, it accepted. All right. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward like uh, DP problem. I mean, I think you you just for you guys you just you guys just need to like under, uh, to know like how can you count uh, accumulate right the uh, the sub squares. Sub uh, square of sub matrices, right? Based on the uh, those three conditions, since it, like we're we're looking for like a square, that's why we have to uh, get the minimum value among all those three uh, values, and then we do a plus one. That's gonna be our the ones uh, the current the current like uh, new a uh, new sub squares uh, by adding the this uh, ma by adding the matrices i minus one j mi j minus one. Okay, and then we just accumulate that to the final answer. Well, I, so I mean the time complexity is obviously like uh, uh, m times n, right? The space actually, you know what? So, so for this one, space is also like time m times n, but we can also like utilizing the matrix matrix itself, right? Basically, we can just uh, uh, roll up all the the, the values uh, to this matrix itself, so that we can uh, save this additional space here. But that's not that's not the the point here. I mean, the main the main uh, intuition is like, how can you know, right? How can you know? How can you uh, construct like a square 
sub sub matrices. Cool. I think yeah, that's it for this problem. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Thank you so much uh, for watching the videos, guys. Uh, stay tuned. See you guys soon. Bye bye.